Good idea to actually pre-shake these uh, the day before. So if you're on the job site, turn the pails upside down, shake them up a little bit. What you're gonna find is you've got sort of a liquid portion on the top and you're gonna probably likely get a sludge on the bottom. The sludge is the most important part. So in order to get that out of there, now you're left with this in the bottom. Okay, let's take the five and one. Ready, can you get on top of that? Slice it like a pie, okay? And it's pretty easily. Can you see that, Dave? Yep. That would work. Okay. Good, good idea to have a variable speed drill, drill because if you put this on real fast, you're just gonna get splashed all over the place. So start slow and gradually break that stuff up, that sludge up. And you'll be able to go faster and faster, kind of, kind of like beat it up in there. It's kind of an art to doing this, but you'll you'll feel it. It pretty quick. It goes into solution. Can you see it? Once I get it to where I think it's pretty good and there's no chunks and it's thicker, I tend to like to take my pail like this, which gives you more depth. Really beat it like that. Now you just add the color once you get it all broken in. Mix it much. It's, okay. Okay, now we're gonna pour in the hardener, the isocyanate, part B. Now you don't have to mix it real fast speed because it's pretty low viscosity. Usually you mix it one to two minutes. Now we're just pouring it through a paint filter just so there's no chunks that might not be broken up in there. Uh, it's just a nice step to take to, to assure yourself that you don't have any debris uh, when you're uh, dealing with material this kind of expense uh, sure can make your life a lot easier. The nice thing about this is you're not generally trying to catch up with your rollers because this stuff spreads at about 800 feet. So your mix guy usually has time to work back here. This job uh, specified with glass bead aggregate to give it a little more texture and non-slip cleanability properties and all that. So we're just gonna add in this case, four ounces of glass bead to this mix. Pretty simple, you just get it. Mix it in. Doesn't require a lot of mixing. It's a proper application method. Dip your roller. Go two passes. Dip it again and start at the opposite side this time. Start at the opposite side of your uh, pass. What you see him doing there the first time he started on the other side. Four passes, and then he perpendicularly rolls it. So 
now you can see where he was. It's a good even distribution. A nice texture. And to smooth everything out, you have another member of the crew just finish rolling it. Perpendicular to how that was put down by your initial three guys. And that'll smooth out everything, any roller lines, any overlap marks, which actually on this floor we have very few up to begin with. 